Unify Inner Space. What is it? What does it do? And how do you use it? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Tim and you're watching Mr. Tim Tech on YouTube. Welcome back to another video. If you're new, then welcome and let's get on with the video. Unify Inner Space is an integration into the Unify controller and this is available from version 8.0.7 onwards. I'm using Unify Network version 8.0.26 and Unify OS version 3.2.7. Now, if you haven't already installed Inner Space, then what you have to do is click on Install under the section of applications that haven't been installed for example access talk connect next to this you would see inner space so all you would do to install it is click on the install and wait for the application to actually install once you've installed it it will appear in the section next to your network unify protect and then inner space will be shown as it has done here so what Inner Space does is allow you to draw a plan of your property or office block or so on. Basically the layout of your Unify network where various devices are so that you can easily track them on a map. Say if you have, for example, a large office space with different floors and you want to know where various devices are located. So what you have to first do is design a diagram of your office unless you already have one to hand that is and i would recommend going to drawio so the website is www.drawio.com where you can design the layout of your property for free and then export the file into a png file format or a pdf file format in this case I'm using PNG file format and I've already designed my property layout as you'll see here using various items in Drawio which allows you to example to draw walls as you'll see I've done here different room spaces Ethernet sockets where they're located fireplace for example where that's located windows and doors and so on so what I've done is drawn out a basic layout and where the Ethernet sockets are located in my home. Then what I've done is gone to File and Export As and then I've exported it as a PNG file as you'll see is the first option in the Export menu here. So. Now that I've done that, I've saved the file into my local PC and it's called bungalow plan one in brackets draw.io. So once you have done that, you can then exit Drawio and then go back in and log in to your Unify OS. As you see, I've already done here. And once in your Unify OS, you click on in the space this will then take you to the welcome to unify in a space screen where you can get started so to do this all you do is click on get started and then upload floor plan window will appear on screen so basically you can give it a name so I'll call it my home network and then once you've done that you will select to upload and then from the documents you will choose your png file that you've just downloaded from drawio and click open and then click confirm here you'll see it's now loaded in the floor plan and then on the right hand side menu you will see that we have the unified devices that are already in my unify network so for example we've got the door chime the g4 doorbell the router the switch 
another switch and the wireless access point. So there's various options you can actually choose in Unify Inner Space. And here you can see at the left hand side top, you'll see it's showing as My Home Network. Now what you can do is you can actually edit the floor plan by clicking on the gear or cog icon. Then it brings you into the edit floor plan window that pops up at the right hand side where you can rename the network, resize the device icons. If you have them, say for example, at 100%, if I just close that, you'll see that the icons do appear quite large when you have them set to 100%. So I would recommend clicking the gear icon where it states the name, my home network, click the gear icon, and then resize the device icon. And as you'll see, it's now shrinking the size of the chime icon. I would recommend probably having it about 60% so that it's actually more realistic to the size of your floor plan. You can also reduce the wall opacity, but that doesn't actually seem to do anything in uh, Unify in this diagram because I think we've already designed and drawn the walls in the actual dark colour that it's actually not uh, having an effect of wall opacity. We can also change the image opacity. So if we reduce that, you'll see that it's now dimming the whole image. So it's actually fading the image. Change it probably to 50%, I think is actually ideal. Once you've done that, you can click X to close that. Then what you can do, click on draw walls on the little arrow at the side of it where you can actually draw rooms or walls. However, as you've already done the walls in Drawio, then you shouldn't need to use this option. So we'll close that. Then in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see we have a ceiling height of 13.12 feet. So what we can do is change that. And what I'm going to do is click on feet or meters, whichever measurement you wish to use. In this case, I'm using feet and the ceiling height is going to be eight feet. So I'm gonna change the ceiling height to eight feet, click save. Also the scale, so to change the actual scale of the drawing so that it knows how far the signal is, for example, for the wireless access points, you click change. Then what you do is click the start and end points of the line, then enter the length it requires represents. So here we'll start with the bedroom, click there, move down and click there and then enter the length which is actually eight feet and click save. So now it should be able to work out itself the actual scale of the drawing. So then what you would do is move the devices at the right hand side so we'll click on doorbell and move the actual doorbell to where it's actually positioned on my property, which is about there. And as you will see, the actual camera view angle is incorrect. So what we'll do is move across to the actual blue line on the camera angle, click and hold and drag this camera angle to the actual camera angle that it's actually viewing at the moment. So now it's a better representation of the actual angle of the camera to what I have it set as. So once you have clicked on that device, you will then click on the wireless access point, for example, and move this by dragging and dropping into where the wireless access point is located. And it's located in the hallway, which is about in the center of the ceiling there. Then we'll drag and drop the actual router to where it's located and my router is located in an actual network cabinet in the corner here next to this which is the chimney breast so it's located at the side of the actual chimney breast so then we'll drag and drop the switches next to this 
as you'll see. So now we have the router, the switch, and the second aggregation switch all located next to each other. So obviously if you have a lot more unified devices then you will be able to position those in the other various rooms or office spaces in generally the location of where the actual devices should be located. So moving across to the right hand side menu we have on hover, camera coverage or Wi-Fi coverage or off. So what this is doing is on hover, so it, for example if you hover over the devices it will show the actual coverage of those devices once you hover over them. You can actually set it just to Wi-Fi coverage which will permanently display the Wi-Fi coverage as you can see it's done here in green or the camera coverage for example you can select so it's now showing the camera coverage or you can actually turn the option off. Moving across further right we have the display options so what you can do is change the actual Wi-Fi coverage so for example let's change it to 2.4 and then once we hover over the wireless access point you will see that we now have showing the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band so you can actually change this to 2.4, 5 or 6 and so on as you will see we don't have any Wi-Fi 6 band because it's not actually set up so we'll set it back to 5 which is generally what I use and then underneath that we can have device information we can show the name and the actual model of each device so as you can see now it's popped up UDM Pro, USW Pro 24, USW Aggregation and so on so you can actually select these options so we can actually lower the label transparency so here you'll see it's now dimmed the actual labels. So basically that's how you use Unify Inner Space. My thoughts on this? Well, it's probably useful for large offices and businesses where they have uh, various rooms, different floors and so on. But for general probably use in a small house and a user like myself that doesn't have that many access points or unified devices in their network at the moment then it's probably not much use because you can actually uh, remember where all your devices are located anyway it's probably useful for wireless access point coverage so that you're aware of what your Wi-Fi coverage is like around your property so it's probably useful for that but other than that for general use for the small houses and home users I don't feel it's probably much use. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you using Inner Space? What do you think of it? Will you be trying out Inner Space? Let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. So one last thing, if you so wish you can actually uninstall in the space by clicking in the Unify network controller main screen where you'll find the list of applications if you hover over in a space you'll see that three dots appear if you click those you can actually stop it or uninstall it right so that's it for another video thanks for watching and take care and more videos coming again soon bye for now